Yeah, he had a uh, seagull out there eating on the fish. Yeah. Um, that fish here, boy. So, <laughs> specifically, the one that we've had the most problem with here in Lake Erie is one that goes by the name of Microcysty. All right. So when you read about that in the newspaper articles you were looking at, there. But here's something really interesting that I just learned about. All right. When we were over there, so we went over to see the bald eagle's nest, and it's basically. Uh, do you see that, you know, that cut is there where all the, there's no trees? Yeah. Okay, so follow that tree line down on the far side until it kind of disappears. That's basically where that eagle's nest is at. Oh, you went over there? Yeah. Why yeah. were we allowed to yeah. go? Well, we would have been, but it was just the wrong time of the day. Oh. Um, so you know, we, they were there at, at 1030 and, um, you know, we can't, we're obviously not in class at that time. But here's the real interesting thing. They, they take they take samples, right? So they, they, they take a chicken. The eagle or the top predator comes along Greener. and eats the large things and they pass it along to their bait. Okay? Yeah, the seagulls are saying, mmm, food. <laughs> so the problem why the, the eagles were endangered in the first place was this process with a chemical. A chemical that we dumped into the river down here at the River Raisin. Uh, a chemical got into the eagles, and what it did is it made their eggshell so thin that when the mother would lay down on the eggshell to keep it warm, she'd break the egg in half. And all the eggs, all the babies were obviously dying because they you know, live in a dead, broken eggshell, right? So scientists figured out, you know, through this process of bioaccumulation and biomagnification, depending on exactly what you're talking about, um, that this, we had to get this chemical out. So we, we, we outlawed that chemical, and now here we are 40, 50 years later, and the eagles and the like peregrine falcons and other top and predator birds. Osprey. Osprey as well, yeah. Uh, their populations are coming back to the point where the eagle's <coughs> not really considered to be a federally endangered species anymore. Right? So okay, great. Problem solved, right? Well, now here we got a new problem with a biological. This is the first